welcome to this session of rapid prototype now in previous session we have discussed a technique which was based on sheet based techniques and it was laminated object manufacturing we have seen that in sheet lamination technique there were two techniques laminated object manufacturing and ultrasonic consolidation we have discussed that laminated object manufacturing mostly utilizes a uh, papers and polymer sheet as a material and it has limitations of weak parts or it has limitations of strength of the part so to remove this strength and we have also seen that laminated object manufacturing can be used mostly in visualization and testing of functional parts only only to test fits and tolerances only so if you want to manufacture some high strength part some functional part with sheet lamination we cannot use laminated object manufacturing so for that another technique which is also a sheet lamination technique is developed it is known as ultrasonic consolidation now what is this ultrasonic consolidation ultrasonic consolidation is basically a hybrid process ultrasonic consolidation uses metal seam welding and cnc milling both so till now all the process that we have seen in rapid prototyping uses additive manufacturing techniques only but ultrasonic consolidation also uses a cnc milling uh, process in it so this is a combination of rapid prototyping techniques which uses a subtractive manufacturing method in itself now what do you mean by ultrasonic metal seam welding so to understand that let us first understand what is welding now welding is joining of two different metals mostly metals any two different materials can be joined via welding what is seam welding seam welding is the process of continuously welding two different components now ultrasonic metal seam welding is the process in which we are doing seam welding of metal parts using ultrasonic uh, uh, waves so the basically what happens is when we are giving vibration to a particular horn to a particular tool and we are applying pressure from the top then due to this vibration if we apply pressure due to this vibration due to this vibration energy of this both the plate here at the surface heat will be generated and when we apply pressure on top of it then this part will be welded with the base plate this is the process of ultrasonic welding so we are using ultrasonic uh, vibrations now what is ultrasonic ultrasonic is beyond 2000 hertz so we are using frequencies which are greater than 20000 hertz sorry i said 2000 earlier but ultrasonic is beyond 20000 hertz so we are using frequencies which is beyond 20000 hertz and we are giving that frequency to these uh, two different metals and those metals due to this high amount of frequency will get heated up uh, uh, in between and when they are heated up if we are applying pressure they will be made, welded together this is the process of ultrasonic welding i am not going into detail of ultrasonic metal welding because it is not scope over of our uh, topic of discussion that is ultrasonic consolidation but i am just explaining you how the process works just to have you an idea uh, i will strongly suggest recommend that uh, you must uh, go through this topic of ultrasonic welding if you do not have any books available with you which uh, describes ultrasonic welding then you can google it uh, it will i hope it will be a, a interesting topic for you to learn it is a new topic for you to learn so this is basically the process of ultrasonic welding now what is ultrasonic 
metal seam welding. So when you are doing this for only one point, it is known as ultrasonic welding. But when you are rotating your uh, horn, this is known as horn, the tool of ultrasonic welding where we are applying pressure, this is known as horn and this will be uh, vibrating. So when we are uh, using a sheet of two different metals, of two metals sheets and we are uh, rotating this while vibrating, this entire section will be welded. This entire sheet will be welded and this is known as ultrasonic metal seam welding process. Now once you are familiar with this ultrasonic metal seam welding process, we can discuss ultrasonic consolidation. Because ultrasonic consolidation will have two different parts. One part will be ultrasonic uh, metal seam welding and another part will be of milling process. So part A is ultrasonic metal seam welding and part B is milling process of this newly welded seam. So what we are doing? Uh, we are starting with the uh, first layer of uh, this metal depth. We'll uh, on the base plate. We'll take um, this metal depth and we will weld this entire tape. Uh, we'll weld this tape on this uh, part. And then, once this uh, entire part is covered with metal depth, is welded throughout with the metal depth. What we will do? We will use milling. We will use CNC milling and we will cut this uh, sheet of metal whenever required. So suppose you want to make this type of uh, cavities, this type of flange for something, then you are covering the entire top with the sheet and then with the milling you are drilling uh, holes, cavities whenever you want. So once this, uh, all these cavities will be finished, you will have a layer of this cavity. Then again, what we will do? We will again take this step and weld it on top of this newly finished part. And then after this welding is completed, we will again mill that one layer. Then again we will weld the part and then again we will mill the uh, layer. So this is how layer by layer we can mill uh, the desired shape we want. Now why we are doing this? Why just we don't uh, take a block of material and weld this entirely? Sorry, mill this entirely. Because if we do so, we cannot achieve internal features. Suppose you want uh, some internal features here. You want uh, some... Uh, Let's say you want uh, a overhanging sheet here. So by layer by layer manufacturing, you can uh, uh, tell the, your milling tool to uh, left that uh, overhanging uh, section unmachined, unmilled, and you can mill uh, other part only. And then you can add next layer and you can mill the entire section. So you will have a overhang part there. You will have internal features there, which is not possible in directly milling process. So this is the process of ultrasonic consolidation. Now where this process of ultrasonic consolidation can be used? So basically ultrasonic consolidations can be used for producing internal features for prototypes. Uh, it has very specific applications like if you want to embed optical fiber between metal matrix, normally between aluminum matrix, then you can use this ultrasonic consolidation. And this uh, optical fiber embedded in this aluminum matrix or metal matrix has further applications like this metal matrix with optical fiber. If you apply some stresses or deformation on uh, this metal matrix, then the light passing through optical fiber will have different characteristics. And from this different characteristics, we can actually tell that uh, 
inside the metal at which point uh, what is the proportion of strains and what is the proportion of stresses so in advanced research uh, in advanced uh, research in aerospace normally and in, in uh, uh, aeronautic engineering applications we can use this type of devices also we can use this type of devices where uh, in uh, turbine blades or where we want to measure stresses at different locations also we can use this ultrasonic consolidation to build smart structure where we are manufacturing metal uh, pores and we can put sensors in between them and we can uh, continue building our part for example here if you want to put some sensor in this cavity then after this process of milling is finished you put your sensor in here and you can easily uh, weld your next layer of sheet on top of it and the sensor will not get affected because the sonotrode that is the vibrating uh, nod of this uh, ultrasonic uh, uh, welding machine this is known as sonotrode so this will weld it uh, on metal parts only and the your sensor which is there in the cavity will not be disturbed so these are different applications of ultrasonic consolidations so this is very interesting technique and we are very recently developed technique also it is very advanced technique so i hope you enjoyed this session happy learning